ancient Port Meadow here in Oxford, a place where the freemen of the city of Oxford could graze their cattle. First mentioned in the Doomsday Book in 1086, they've been grazing their cattle here for centuries. As we pan around, we can look at the banks of the River Thames, flowing for 215 miles down to London, the longest river within England. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Did I just pan past the Bailey Bridge? and not talk about it. <laughs> tut, 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 tut. Let's talk about the Bailey Bridges of World War II. Now, the Bailey Bridges were designed by Sir Donald Bailey in the 1930s. The idea was to get equipment and tanks across rivers and marshland very quickly without the need of heavy lifting equipment, bridges that could be built by a team of men very quickly. And this is one of those. Adopted by the British Army in 1940, they were used initially in the Italian campaign in 1943 and heavily used in our advancing towards Berlin to give Adolf a bloody nose. Although this one is army surplus and was actually brought here in September, towards the end of the war, September 1947. And during that particular time, it was erected by 60 men of the Royal Artillery and it only took them two hours to build. And here it is again, so many years later, still in use. Now they were modular, so you could have them any particular length. This particular one, 60 foot long. You could add extensions to it at any time. And strong enough to take a tank, and me. And me and a tank. And they could be found all around the world. And this one is Oxford's, carrying people, not tanks or military equipment, but people from Port Meadow to the banks of the River Thames.